Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, I'm just talking a bit about the new, one of the, the new videos that have been surfacing the internet currently, uh, which is a video from Chris Fix Germany, uh, actually stating that uh, the AMD GPUs that they are receiving, because they are a, a fixing shop, I believe, uh, and they received over 60 cards uh, in the past month that were broken and 40, 40 something of them were actually defective with the same exact defect. And supposedly drivers are the only common thing in between all of them. And what is exactly happening? Let's dive into it. Today's video sponsor is GGG Mobile. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. And well, I took some notes uh, on, my, on my notepad, the physical notepad, not the notepad in the computer. Uh, and before the video starting, I'm just, I'm just telling you that this is not a video to debunk um, or to call out Chris, I do believe his name is Chris. Um, nothing like that, not a debunking, not a calling out, nothing like that, because he actually seems like a really down to hurt guy, he seems like a, a completely humble guy, and I'm not here doing that, okay? I'm just commenting on what he found, because he himself says that he needs more info um, to know what's actually happening, but it is odd indeed, okay? So firstly, he says he received 61 cards and all of them were 6800 and 6900 series. Basically 6800, 6800 XT and 6900 XT or maybe 6950 XT, okay? And 48 of those cards, 48 of those cards had exactly the same problem. And that same problem was basically a short circuit. They were broken, they were fried on the GPU, they were fried on the memory controller, on the VRAM and so on. So those three parts, I do believe it was those three parts that were broken in all of the 48 cards, which like Chris said, it's not normal at all. But better than actually hearing this from me, let's watch a bit of the video. Okay. And here comes the problem. For the last three weeks, uh, we received around 61 cards, the models 6800 and 6900. For, from 61 cards, we have diagnosed 48 cards with the same problem, broken GPU chip. But what is uh, most important, all of these cards, they have the same measurements. Every single one has shorted sock rail, shorted memory rail and shorted memory controller rail. And three weeks ago, I was asking, what is wrong here? This is not normal. I'm fixing graphic cards on a daily basis and I, I have never seen something like this. Okay, we, we can have a bro uh, card with a broken GPU chip, but for example, one card from 10, not every single one. Uh, and I make a list where uh, I have a questions for every single customer. Questions like what games they are playing, what software they are using and what kind of drivers they are using. And every single customer answered differently. They are, they are, they are playing different games or they, or they are playing no games. Some of them are just watching YouTube and some of them are, are, are just working. Nothing so special but only one thing matches on every single one. This is the driver. Every single customer updated the driver for AMD cards. Uh, the last update was on December 8th last year. And this is the only thing that matches. So as you saw, Chris talks about the 61 cards from the 6000 series, okay? And 48 cards with exactly the same, uh, the same problem, which is not uh, which is not usual at all, okay? He actually asks the client what was 
the client doing or what may have triggered the, the problem and they some of them were gaming some of them were just scrolling on YouTube uh, or Facebook or whatever but one thing in common it seems to be the driver version okay and I even let a comment on the on this on the um, <laughs> and I even let a comment on his comment section of that particular video saying what I believed it was the issue on that same scenario but now he says that the common issue is a driver from this December 8th. But if we look at those same drivers at 22.11.2, they are now WHQ signed. And December 8th is the date where they were relaunched as WHQ signed and they were launched in November um, without any WHQ certification. Now, this means that if the drivers were actually the problem, in this case the 22.11.2 drivers, if the drivers were indeed the problem, we would be seeing this for longer than a month, okay? This should be happening for a month and a half, but no, it isn't. So it is just happening for, let's say, over a month, like Chris says. Uh, over a month would put us in the mid-December, and these drivers were released before that, okay? The only thing that changed was the WHQL certification. Now, if the month puts us in the mid of December, let's say 15th or 16th of December, we have the 22.12.1 drivers that were released on the third, on the 13th, okay, December 13. And the 22.12.1 drivers are drivers solely, and I repeat, these drivers, the 22.12.1, are solely for the RX 7000 series, the 22.12.1 and the 22.12.2. .12 and this is where I believe the actual problem is. Because I do believe that these cards actually being broken is half-half in between user error and AMD's fault. Because the 22.12.1 drivers are meant only for the, the RX 7000 series and they are not supposed to be used with the RX 6000 series, 5000 series, Vega, Polaris, etc. It's not meant to. And technically, you shouldn't even be able to install it on an older generation card. And that's where the AMD's fault kicks in. Because they shouldn't even let the older generation cards install these drivers. And I believe that there's that's the actual problem. I do believe that this is the issue because when I released the, the, the review of the 22.12.1 drivers, people with the RX 6000 series were actually complaining to me telling me that they had lots and lots of problems with the 22.12.1 drivers and I was saying, okay, I have the 7900 XTX and I have no issues so far, besides some bugs, I have no issues, no severe issues, why do you have issues? And it happens that they actually had an RX 6000 series. So AMD actually allowed the 22.12.1 drivers to be installed on previous generation cards and that's what's causing the problems. I, I'm almost certain that those GPUs that were broken were broken due to the using of 22.12.1 drivers on the, the RX 6000 series GPUs, in this case 6800 and 6900 series. On the 22.12.2 drivers, that was fixed, I tried it myself, that was fixed, so on the 22.12.2, sorry, you can't actually install those drivers on previous generations, but with the 22.12.1, at least the one that was released in the beginning, you could. And I believe, once again, that's what caused the cards to be broken. And well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for Chris Fix. Uh, Germany for actually making this content, it was very interesting actually uh, to see him disassembling the card, telling us um, with the multimeter where whether it was short circuit, uh, GPU dies with a crack and something like that, so too much voltage was applied most likely. He was referring to the 22.11.2 drivers, but I believe the issue was not that, it was with the latest drivers being installed on older generation cards that weren't prepared for those drivers. Okay, but it's in both ways it is quite interesting. I tested the 22.11.2 drivers in all my 6000 series and I had absolutely no issues. So, yes, that's why I believe it was the case. And people, lots of people actually commented on my comment section telling me that they had blue screens, black screens, uh, lots of several color screens, red screens, green screens, anything. And it was due to installing 7000 series drivers on the 6000 series cards. 
So that may actually be the issue and the fried cards may be due to that. Just my two cents. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and see you in the next one. As always.